you do not need to buy God's love. Right. If ever you, you feel like, you know, you're being asked. Right. And even in a small scale, not even like, uh, send us $1,000 and your sins will be repaid. Like, I mean, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll pray for you. Hello. And welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Kim Portant. Kim Portant? Is that a real person? And this here is Frank looking nice. And, um. Oh my God. Frank has on the same. Don't tell them. Oh, oh, my God. oh. Here. here, here, quick. Frank, you're wearing the same. <laughs> <I have to. laughs> you're wearing the same outfit that you were wearing yesterday. He Friday. was out. He was out drinking last April night. April Fools. We have some somber. <laughs> I knew this one wouldn't stay. We have some somber news, guys. Um, hate to break it to you. After a year and a half, this will be our last podcast ever. We're sorry. April Fools. Fools. It is April 1st. I wasn't on board for that. Yeah, well, I was April Fools in YouTube. Pranking people. But you're going to have to keep your head very still. Seriously, is it moving again? Yeah, just, I wouldn't fidget with it too much. So... It is. We're still in the podcast of Lent, the Forty Days of Lent podcast, where you're adding a hat every podcast. Yes. How many hats are you up to? This is thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Now, no. at this 15. point, what is it? <laughs> your head's being squeezed. Threes so I, go by. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Right. So it's fifteen. Um. Now. What's it called? Um, you, we so we've we've gotten the balance thing. We've gotten the overheating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you getting to the point where it's getting heavy? Like, are, um, are you feeling the weight of the hats? I do feel the weight of the hats. A little bit. It gives you a little bit of a headache. Yeah. I don't know how the Rastafarians do it. Uh, well, they they use the dreads. So I mean, I imagine. But I that would give me a headache too because you imagine the hair is actually braided. Pulling. Yeah, yeah, pulling. Um, the hearing isn't too bad today. I was gonna say something about the hats and being heavy, but now I can't remember. Um. Yeah, I lost my train of thought because I got so many hats on. Um, is it getting heavy? Yeah, it's it's hot. It's heavy. It's it's for the Lord, though. So. It's for the Lord. We're all doing our little Lenten sacrifices. I have not been on TikTok in a lot of days. And it also, it also keeps me postured. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, isn't that how the princesses do it? They balance books. I think so. You're yeah. balancing hats. Now, April Fool's, talk to me about it. It's a day where you fool people. Happy birthday, Derek. Happy birthday, Derek. April Fool's, you fool people. I know. Gotcha. I don't know, the, I don't know the origin. Is that very Christian? Should Christians be April Fools and people? No, they shouldn't. I don't like pranks. I don't like the prank shows or anything. Yeah, I, I don't want to be a negative na nanny, negative Nelson, but I don't know. It's like it, it, I feel like it's always like because when I think of like April Fools, it's always like let me scare my parents. Right. Let me say, oh, I, I'm in jail. April Fools. I know. And it's like you're raising their anxiety up. That it's not even like they end up feeling good. Right. They end up feeling relieved from feeling bad. Right. But hey, I guess it's all in good fun. I know. And then also because it's a national holiday, um, it's hard to surprise people because everybody is is ready for it. Um, I saw Lego. They put out, because um, sometimes the corporate ones do it, right? Yeah. And it was, you know, the little man? Yeah. It, it said they were selling life-size ones. But like whenever they do that, people are like, oh, I wish you were. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wonder what would happen. Like, you know, if you find out like you're pregnant on April 1st. Well, funny you should say that because, well, my mom had a baby on April 1st. So when my dad called from the hospital and was like, she had a boy, we were like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why I said happy birthday, Derek. But um, funny you should say about the pregnancy because some people pretend to be pregnant on yeah april fool's day so they'll put like a fake pregnancy test or they'll put like a something under their shirt and this year i don't know if i saw it other years but this year a lot of people are saying um don't do that because it for people who have infertility issues uh. they don't think it's a laughing matter but it's just everything's so hard to know because just like the alopecia and and everything every joke someone's going to be sensitive about it can you not joke then um and it's i guess every Take it as it comes personally, I guess. Yeah, I guess every situation is uh, individual. And especially, I mean, April Fool's jokes are fine, especially when, you know, it got you back. You know, yeah. it's a little back and forth, a right. little, little rivalry. But um, 
don't scare your elderly parents. They might have a heart attack and die. And then the April Fool joke well, will be on you. We don't even like pranks on children. I mean, you know, Easter, is it Easter? No, it's Halloween. Remember the, we didn't like the kids pranks where you would tell the kid you ate all the candy or yeah. remember that? Yeah. It was like Jimmy Kimmel or something. And, yeah. And, oh, everyone and, was laughing at the child and the child was so confused and sad. And it was just like. All right. That's it. We're ending April Fool's today. We've announced it. You've heard it here first. No take backs. Okay. Um, what else? So guys, if you remember last week's podcast that, um, and if you don't remember it, it's probably because you fell asleep. Don't during it. say that. <laughs> it's, it was really good. No, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, we had a Bible draft. Yes. Um, and we had the draft before we really knew what we were going to do with it. Yeah. So we, there's 66 books of the Bible. Right. And, you know, we picked back and forth first overall down to 60th over 66th overall. And so we've divvied up. I have now. 33 Bible books in my repertoire. Yeah. And you have 33 Bible right. books in your repertoire. So what we're going to do with them is we're going to make a bracket system. Okay. But it's not going to be, you know, not everybody knows every book. Like, oh, what, what do I like better, Job or Psalms? Right. So every day on Instagram, starting tomorrow, we will put up a poll that we will both pick a Bible verse from one of our books. Right. And you just will vote on which Bible verse really just spoke to you on that given day. Right. So that, the, and that, therefore that book will get the vote. Yes. So um, then that book will continue on and maybe we'll do different Bible verses for the winners so we're not repeating. I don't know. We're going to take it as uh, it comes. Oh, yeah, that's to, a good idea. Take it as it comes to us. So do you want to just wait for Instagram or do you want to say the first We verses? can say it now. Okay. So the first two overall picks were... Job mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. That was the first overall. And then I picked Psalms. Yes. So my Psalms first overall, I'm feeling confident it, verse will be, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Um, and whatever Psalm it is, is right here. Okay. Mine is going to be, um, I do know it by heart, but I'm just making sure. Yeah. It's because I didn't know if it was all one, but it's Job 121. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Let the name of the Lord be praised. That's good. Um, maybe I should go back to the drawing board on the little <laughs> psalm. No, I like that. Hey, uh, to give a little credit where credit is due, I think my psalm is a great psalm to start the day with. Of course. And the very first thing you say before, as you, your eyes open, or before they even open, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. And I will Let rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's a song. It's a song. I didn't make it up. It's a psalm. It's a song. The psalms were songs at Psalms one point. Are, yeah. But guys, yeah, that's it. So it's just Friday. So we're that brat. So it's going to be every day. So um, if you want to be a part of this bracket system it's going to be april madness because april 1st is today april madness um follow us on instagram at croak and crow and it will be in our stories and join the fun mm -hmm. and uh you know if we're doing obviously all of the books of the bible will be um used yeah so if you have a, if you have a uh a, a verse oh, yeah put it down in the comments and then i might be like oh that's a good one when matthew when matthew comes up I'm going to use that. Right. And I'm going to beat out your one Corinthians, you know? And a vote for Job is a vote for me. And a vote for Psalms is a vote for the Lord. <laughs> but guys, so that'll be fun. We're going to be doing that every mm -hmm. day. Anywho, today is Friday. Beautiful Friday, April 1st. It's April. 4 one What's there to look forward to in April? Rain. 420. Flowers. Easter. Yeah, 420. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like April. Mostly because it's the it's the month. Oh, and it's going to be tar season once we get halfway through. Mm -hmm. Horns up for tar season. But um, yeah, I like April. It's I feel like it's uh, March. You know, it's still because half of it is still winter. Yeah. You got to remember that. Mm -hmm. I do. April <laughs> is like the beginning of spring. Right. There's going to be days. I don't know when that you're just going to be outside and be like, this feels good. Yeah. It's um, it's like the the, the first the first light that says the warmth is coming unless you live in a in a in a warm climate or a cold climate <laughs> or cold climate if you live in a climate <laughs> that has four seasons then april is the month for you
But guys, so last week we did do the draft, which mm-hmm. means we didn't do something else. We didn't do Dr. Seuss, and we were trying to finish the Hufflepuff. Dr. Seuss Friday, we missed it. You guys probably missed it. You were probably like, this draft is great. But where is my Dr. Seuss? Right. It's Dr. Seuss Friday. It's just a little delay. It's a little delay, but airport. here we are. So, guys, what is Dr. Seuss Friday? Uh, I feel like I, everyone needs a refresher. We yeah. need a refresher. Yeah, yeah. Why are we still reading Dr. Seuss books? I'll tell you why. Dr. Seuss, also known as Theodore Seigel. Geisel. Theodore Geisel was a very smart author who wrote stories that captivated the imaginations of children and adults Mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. And um, in these stories, you might just see silliness. Mm -hmm. You might see quagger bugs and huffle lumps and little Sally Sue and the Grinch. Right. But within those characters and those goofy antics, there are real world meanings. And so the same way in Walk Through Thursday, or no, sorry, in the same way as One Word Wednesday, mm-hmm. we pick a word, try to get more meaning out right. of it. We look back at these Dr. Seuss books with adult brains. Mm. And with our adult brains, we try to find some spiritual significance yeah. from these little stories. And um, you're never too old to learn. No. Jesus said, be like children. Why? Because their their ears are open for hearing. Their eyes are, they're perceiving all this information as new. Right. And so we should go through life and, and perceive everything yeah. as new. And you know, that's that's really true. Because um take beauty for instance. In beauty, uh in 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 the society, we do a lot of things to maintain our youth. Yeah. So i um, I want to look younger, so I'm gonna get like a facelift because younger people have tighter faces, and I'm gonna get lashes because Younger people have more lashes. Yeah. Every, fill in the blanks. You're, everything you're doing is, I want to look younger. I want to look younger because youth is so valued and um, sought after. Yeah. But then inside of us, you know, you would say, oh, why would I read a children's book? And it's like, because, you know, youth is a time of growth and learning and, and um, hope and happiness. And so do that do, do, as well. Do that as well. So, guys, you will remember this book because we've read it for, what, four weeks in a row? And there's the fourth, yeah. I think. This here is Horton and the Quaggerbug and more lost stories. So, a little refresher of why this book is special is because most of the time you see a Dr. Seuss book, it's just a book. You might have heard it before. Dr. Seuss didn't just write books to be published in the library. He also wrote for newspapers and little short stories. What's a newspaper? And magazines. <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> They don't really, I don't think young people would look at a newspaper. Yeah, no, well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. Dr. Seuss is not young. Yeah. And so in the way a book lives on forever mm-hmm. and you can always get a new copy. Right. Those magazines, uh, they last a week and then they get thrown away. Go into the birdcage. Go into the birdcage, as the kids say. But um, someone went back and found those old stories that were lost, that are not in the library. Saved them, retrieved them. That were written by Dr. Seuss, and he created this book, which is a compilation of five, four or five books mm-hmm. and um, that Stories. you probably have never heard of before. And today we're on the last one. So really take it on in because this is, we're saying goodbye to Horton and the Quagger Bug and more lost stories. And like, you'll, you'll sound really smart like at a cocktail party if someone's like, oh, like what's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? And then Ooh. you're going to get like, oh, green eggs and ham. Yeah. Like, but you're going to come out and be like, Oh, um, Officer Pat saved the town. Yeah. It's like, well, oh. 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 <laughs> it's like Van Gogh. It's like, oh, like mine. So you can like Starry Night. And then like. Yeah. And then you're like, um, oh, actually mine is um, from his private collection. Yeah. It's not actually on Sketching display. Sketching of a washerwoman. Sketching <laughs> of a washerwoman. <laughs> so guys, um, we're reading the last book. It's a short one. So um, that's exciting. And the same way, the, the interesting thing is, you know, like in Marvel, they have the Marvel Universe. Yeah. There's like a Dr. Seuss universe. You see reoccurring characters. Mm. In the very beginning, we read Horton and the Quagger Bug. Right. Where do you know Horton from? Horton Hears a Who. Horton Hears a Who. Did you, did you know Horton was also with the Quagger Bug? Well, and yeah. So, he had a life outside of the Who's. <laughs> and so today is the Who Bub and the Grinch. Who Bub. And the Grinch. But the Grinch here looks pretty happy. He wasn't stressed out by the holidays at this point. Oh, oh, is this like, is this like a um a prelude origin? An origin? <laughs> is this the Grinch's origin story? Maybe. 
All right, guys, it's just, it's only two pages, so here we go. The hubbub was lying outdoors in the sun, the wonderful, wonderful warm summer sun. There's nothing, he said, quite as good as the sun. Then up walked a Grinch with a piece of green string. How much, asked the Grinch, will you pay for this thing? You sure ought to have it. You'll find it great fun, and it's worth a lot more than the old-fashioned sun. Huh? asked the hubbub. Sounds silly to me. Worth more than the sun? Why, that surely can't be. But it is, grinned the Grinch. Let me give you the reasons. The sun's only good in a couple short seasons. For you'll have to admit that in winter and fall, the sun is quite weak. It is not strong at all. But this wonderful piece of green string I have here is strong, my good friend, every month of the year. Even so, said the hubbub, I still sort of doubt. But you know, yapped the Grinch, and he started to shout, that sometimes the sun doesn't even come out. But this marvelous piece of green string, I declare, can come out of your pocket if you keep it there. Any time, day or night, any place, anywhere, hmm, said the hubbub, that would be quite handy. This piece of green string, yelled the Grinch, is a dandy. The sun, let me tell you, is dangerous stuff. It can freckle your face, it can make your skin rough. When the sun gets too hot, it can broil you like fat. But this piece of green string, sir, will never do that. This piece of green string is colossal immense, and to you, well, I'll sell it for 98 cents. And the hubbub he bought, and I'm sorry to say that Grinches, and I'm sorry to say that Grinches sell hubbub such things every day. Ooh. Ooh. The end. The Grinches are taking advantage of the hubbubs. The Grinches are taking advantage of the hubbubs. The classic salesman salesman spiel. This is interesting. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, uh, so obviously, you know, the string was a. Uh, it's worth nothing. Worth nothing. But he was he was he sold it in a way right. that it's worth something. Now, this I'm just going to jump right into the spirituality. Why don't I? Why don't That's I? That's why we're here. Why don't I? We had a sun podcast. Yeah. And we compared the sun to like God's love. Right, right, right. right. And that's the interesting parallel about this is he made him doubt even the sun, which right. he made it, the sun seem small. Right. When in reality, how powerful is the sun? Right. Like, oh, it, it goes away. It's right. going gonna, gonna to do bad things. And it's like he made this string seem more valuable than the sun, which is the only reason that they're both alive right. sitting there. Right. And how often do we get that? Do do we mm -hmm. get like especially with the oh the sun's like, well where is it now? I, right. It's night. I don't see it. The string's right here. Right. And is the sun still there? Yeah. Is right. the sun still heating the earth? Yeah. Right. And is that not the same as like God and then earthly pleasures? Right. Where it's like someone's trying to say like, yeah, I mean like where is your God? Right. Like why like, why is he not here? And it's yeah. like if you don't have that faith, you'll look around and see only darkness and be like, okay, you're right. Uh, you uh, Maybe he's not here. Yeah. But it, it, it takes a faith to be like, get away from me, a Grinch. Yeah. So the Grinch was bad off season. The Grinch was bad off season. <laughs> yeah, I know. But he's also yellow, which is kind of strange. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I definitely feel that way. You know. A material object he could hold it in his yeah. hand in his pocket it was a transaction to pay for it now look what i have something i can depend on now as a reader you look at it and you think that's crazy you can't yeah. depend on it it's a piece of useless string and the salesman just just um cheated you out of your 98 cent what 19 yeah. 98 what was it 98 um, cents 98 that was a lot back then i know that was a lot back then yeah it was so that wasn't even like joke money <laughs> <laughs> for the string I'll sell strings a dollar piece um, because he convinced them what you just said, that this other thing that's obviously more beneficial and better and more yeah. secure and more eternal. Uh, but so I there's so many things. Be careful not to be sold on on just what's before you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, be careful of, of who's selling. Be careful of the yeah. source. We always talk about that. Of yeah. like. Be careful of the source in the Bible. It's like beware of false prophets. And it's like yeah. people will always try to sell you on things and they'll be very convincing. Yeah. And it ha I feel like, you know, you know, they say with like marketing, like 
as we get smarter of like being able to see through advertising, advertising gets better and right. is able to. Yeah. And so I think it needs to work backwards. Like instead of like trying or like being like, oh, I'm smarter than to be fooled on, on you know, spiritual things or, or um, things that will right. bring my life meaning. Instead, I think you need to look back at the sun. Yeah. And or God in, in, in the book, the sun and life, God. Right. And be able to make that a foolproof faith right. of of why you follow it. It's mm-hmm. like, well, is the sun be like? Well, the sun the sun goes down every day. Is that not the same argument as, well, then why do bad things happen? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's like, if you don't have that foolproof faith, when someone asks, when someone comes up to you and says, "If God's real, why do bad things happen?" Right. And it's like, uh, well, now you put it that way. Uh, and so you'll you'll never be able to get that past that question until first you you have a relationship with God and then, and then are not able to be wavered and then it's Grinch what, what are you trying to sell me for yeah tell me all the things that the sun doesn't do and I'll tell you all the things it does yeah um beware of skilled um salesmen skilled yeah. debaters uh my my niece used to be in forensics which sounds like um. For, for crime science yeah crime but no i think it was a p for forensics which is sort of like debate team okay okay and when you're in the, it's a competition and you're, you're gonna have a point and i'm gonna have a point and i'm gonna talk it might not be exactly like debate maybe you have different topics but anyway the whole idea of a lawyer the reason people don't like lawyers is because you can make a case about anything you can you know can, can and if you're good you know you can really convince somebody it seems really really convincing yeah how can I c- come back at that? And so you have to beware of that. And like people don't want to admit that they could because like there's, oh, I could never be tricked or yeah. they could never get me. Yeah. And we talked yesterday about we we unintentionally hurt people sometimes, but we also unknowingly are scammed sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And you it seems right. And that's why you really have to um, kind of keep boiling it back down. Like, is this love? Is this... Yeah. Is this God? Yeah, exactly. Because you could be sold on, on so many things that they can use the Bible, yeah, as backup. Or yeah. well, it says it right here, and you really should pay me, or you really should hit your child, or you really should um, be mean to your neighbor. You have to be on your on your buyer beware. You have to be, you know, like yeah. Think and, about it, and even like um, just to go back earlier, it's a good story for April Fool's Day, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because right? yeah. he was he was a fool. He was a fool, and um, and it was it was being able to see past the trickery. And right. Once again, why do we read Dr. Seuss books? It's because it becomes a simple, silly concept. But now that we're adults, it you can see it in a much more right. in a way that it's not the sun versus the string. Right. It will be much more nuanced things that right. like are not like we're laughing at the hubub. Like you really right. bought a string for ninety nine right. cents, but there are things that's like much more of a gray area right that you you get sold on because it's like well, I'm, a, I'm a rational person and, and that makes sense every argument he made in a very silly way made sense right he didn't say anything untrue right he said the sun is going to go to go away tonight the string's not right and like the you know the, the sun can can damage your face the string won't all all the things yeah. he said were facts and that's why i think once again it, it goes backwards of learn what or be confident in what the sun does for you rather than... Yes. Because people will all... And this goes for churches too. Churches or, or spiritual people, denominational... Everyone can tell you what they can do for you. Right. Right? Like, they will all have something to offer. Yeah. You can't go into a church or into anywhere, a store, a, uh, a school, without them being able to offer you something. And that thing is a real thing. Right. It doesn't mean it's what's right for you. Right. It doesn't mean what you, it's what you need. It's what you should right. replace something else for. Yes. Um, we'd like to think that like th- this is right and this is wrong, but that string had had point. Like, you know, right. it, it had points with that string, right. it, and so it becomes a you need to know what you need. Do I yeah. does did the hubub need that string? Right. No. Did he need the sun? Yes. Right. And you effectively let someone convince you that the string was more valuable than the sun, and you didn't have to buy the sun. And, and you, you, didn't have to buy the sun. you still had the sun. And with t- time out, resume. That's another thing about it. I mean, I, I think a big part of just of religion is yeah. 
just in general. And, and a lot of people, this will be obvious, but a lot, not so much. You do not need to buy God's love. Right. If ever you, you feel like, you know, you're being asked. Right. And even in a small scale, not even like, uh, send us $1,000 and your sins will be repaid. Like, obviously, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll pray for you. Um, just in a smaller mm-hmm. scale thing of, of if something is, is asking, like if for some reason you feel like you're required to, to pay for, you know, oh, but I, I need to because I'm a good Christian and, and this is what God would want me to do. It's like, God, it's unconditional love. Right. The same way the son doesn't ask us to, you know, all do jumping jacks in the morning to recharge him. Right. Uh, God's not asking us to throw money anywhere for his grace. Right. And um, I think that's another indication of, is this through love? And it's like, is the, like, or is someone exploiting right. the love I have for God? Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a competition. It's not, you know, pick me or pick me. Like God has already picked you. Yes. And so you're already within his within his fold it says grinches i think right grinches sell. yeah i saw that so it so, wasn't the grinch yeah grinches are a sneaky bunch yeah grinches sell strings to hubbubs all the time yes the that grinches sell hubbubs such things or no and i'm sorry to say that grinches sell hubbubs such things every day right so we have to beware of grinches which is basically um yeah standing in there and we talked all week about the chris rock and will smith story and, um, you know, the Grinch would have been the one sitting next to Will yeah, and saying, uh, why don't you go up there and, and giving him really good reasons yeah. why. Um, so the devil type behavior yeah. would be from these Grinches yeah. who um, are just trying to mislead you for no good reason, except that they want to gain something. So that Grinch gained his 98 cents. And there are people out there who want to take advantage of you and your um, your uh, belief in them and, you, you know, your your trust. Yeah. And and I think that's the thing is this this is a daily thing. You know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, one of the reasons in my psalm that I picked today that mm-hmm. you should vote for uh, this is it's starting your day with God because things are going to come at you. And that's what the whole idea of putting on your armor of God is putting on your armor of God. Part of that is to be able to navigate through these things and then the other thing is it happens every day and so right. don't be hard on yourself you know like oh what have i been what have i been tricked with before it's like it's never too late to stop oh, yeah to stop buying string well from i Grinches. see i see that you like kind of try to sneak in there a little bit of a, a plug for yeah, your yeah a little bit of a plug your, a little, little thing so little equal time plug. equal time in my verse that you can vote for on instagram job 121 um says the the lord gives and the lord takes away even still let the name of the lord be praised so imagine you know when the sun sets mm-hmm. if you said i'm giving up on the lord because yeah. he gave me sunlight and now he took it away well, it's going to come back again. So regardless. So maybe you'd vote for that one instead on Instagram. Job. Yeah. Well, anyway. But yeah, and that's the other thing about the sun. I mean, I, I do recommend we had a sun podcast. Yeah. I believe that's what I'll, I'll find the exact thing and put it up here. But we. I think it's our only outside. Yeah. But, well, um, we had some Florida ones, but. We talked a lot about seasons and like yeah. what is a spiritual winter mm-hmm. and spiritual night and, and all these things. And it's like. Oh, is God absent from our lives? It's like, no, he's, he's always there. Without right. the sun, we'd have a whole, whole different kind of night, you know? Right. But, um, yeah, so that that story was a good one. I liked it. It was short. I was worried when I first saw it because we don't read these beforehand. We want to give you our raw, um, our yeah, raw we read ideas. It. We hear it but when you hear it. I thought it was short. I'm like, how much of a meaning could this be? But I think that's an important one, especially on April Fool's Day. A lot of string will be sold today. Don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy it. So that's a hubbub and the Grinch. And that officially ends Horton and the Quaggerbug and more lost stories. This was a good few was. weeks, wasn't it? It was. And it was also economical. <laughs> <laughs> it was also, you know, a few less trips to Barnes and Noble. But anyway, guys, go out today and uh, try not to get fooled on April Fool's Day. Enjoy your April. If it's nice where you're at, enjoy the weather. If it's not nice. Sucks to suck, I guess. Put on a hat if, if, I, on, if, you, if it's snowing or raining. Yeah, put on 15. 
15 and you'll see me on Wednesday wearing 16. And yeah, it's a bit of a headache. I'll let you know. <laughs> it's a bit of a headache. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see the last day. I know. But anyway, guys, that's our show. Uh, follow us on Instagram for continued action starting tomorrow. Um, yeah, peace, love, and prosperity. Deuces. Have a fun weekend. <laughs>